Hello. Um, uh, I will talk about uh, some experiences at this state of Mirage OS as a PVH Zen domain. And there is, um, yeah. so why all, all of this? Uh, so far will be some motivation and then uh, status of PVH in Unicraft and yeah, some progress in that. Uh, then uh, Mirage OS specific part of this and then what is in practice current state as, as of today and uh, what what's left to do. So uh, the goal is uh, to run Mirage OS in cubes in PVH domain because in uh, cubes we want to get rid of PV completely. Uh, so currently uh, in cubes we run most of VM as uh, PVH, Linux VMs, and those we can't, uh, we use HVM. This includes PCI pass-through and uh, Windows, um, yeah, and possibly other operating systems. Um, but also we have still few places where we need PV. This is uh, DOM0, which is hopefully going away soon. And also all kind of uh, stub domains and unikernels, which are also PV only right now. Uh, so uh, this will be about one of those points. Uh, there was already uh, some discussion uh, how to get rid of uh, PV stub domains. Um, yeah, so. Um, and there's one more thing. Uh, currently, you need uh, to, to boot uh, Unikernel. Uh, you need to do, uh, provide a Unikernel binary in DOM0 uh, so the tool stack can, uh, can load it. Um, so ne the next step would be to uh, load it from some block device uh, we're using PV, PV grab or something like that uh, or some or some other way but avoid um, parsing any part of unikernel binary in in dom0 directly um, okay so what we have as a starting point uh, we have mirror OS. as of today it supports different uh, target platforms. There is Zen PV, there is KVM, there is, you can run also uh, just that, uh, Linux, uh, Linux process and some more. Um, and this Linux uh, support is done uh, based on quite all mini OS fork, uh, which was PV only at that point. Um, yeah. Um, so, what else? Uh, there's also a Mirage OS uh, build system, which not surprisingly focuses mostly on uh, Occam, uh, OPAM packages, uh, so on uh, OCAM uh, part. Um, Mini OS or support for other platform is only a very small part of the uh, Mirage OS, so build system mostly focus on the uh, OCaml part. And when you build a Mirage OS uh, unikernel, you choose what target platform you want to uh, focus on. Um, so it looks basically like this. You call Mirage configure minus T and target platform name. And then make depend will uh, install all kind of packages. Uh, this uh, will basically involve OPAM, and there is yeah, it includes parts of uh, parts that are specific, uh, that are uh, generic. The Mirage OS shim SSH and agent, which is that we kernel uh, itself. But there are also specific to uh, parts uh, specific to a platform like Pichan Zen, Mirage Zen, Zen Store. Uh, Mirage cubes, yeah. Oh, actually, Mirage cubes is specific to the unikernel here. Whatever. Um, so uh, all of those, most of those parts will be some OCAM, uh, OCAM, uh, OCAM code, um, but also 
think mirrors then uh, have that meaningless stuff inside. Um, and you just call make dependent make, and you end up with some uh, unikernel uh, binary. And specific, uh, this example is for SSH agent uh, built as uh, mirror OS unikernel. Uh, we we working for Cubes OS, so there is some more uh, files specific to uh, Cubes OS, which actually I need to fix to not this, not need this, need this part, but whatever. Um, okay, so this is how it works right now, and this is PV binary. So what to do to have uh, PVH? Uh, one idea is that, oh, there is a newer MinUS version that do have uh, PVH support, so maybe update that fork and not change anything else. Um, so uh, that's one idea, but uh, this fork is really, really old and there are a lot of uh, patches on top. Uh, so. Um, there's alternative way to use Unicraft, which is much nicer way to package uh, uh, Unikernels. Um, but also there, there are some challenges. For example, well, MinUS uh, do, uh, does have uh, PVH support, but Unicraft uh, does not. At least as uh, as of today. Um, so, what's about Unicraft? So this is a modular framework for building unikernels, and similar to Mirage OS, uh, Unicraft also have support for multiple uh, platforms. Uh, so uh, there is some duplications uh, duplication here because we would like to use just one platform from uh, Unicraft. Uh, and just throw away uh, everything else, uh, which, is, which is fine. Uh, but the problem is Unicraft doesn't have uh, PVH, uh, PVH support yet. Um, but on the other hand, um, the structure of the code is much nicer than uh, MinUS. Um, the, it's more actively uh, maintained. Uh, is MinUS still alive? I'm not really sure. I think it is, but yeah. I think it only gets fixed when it breaks. And actually, adding PVH uh, support to uh, Unicraft uh, looks like a much easier approach and also uh, would be useful for other projects, not only uh, not only uh, Mirage OS. Uh, yeah. um, okay, so what we need to do to have PVH uh, in, in Unicraft? Uh, there are a couple of things. Um, first, there are some uh, uh, the binary itself needs some additional left node and uh, separate entry point. Um, starting for structure, what is called, what is it called in uh, PVH is very very different, um, and a lot of information that in PV you get in that starting for uh, structure you need to obtain using a different API uh, in PVH. This applies to uh, Zen store to console to there's also a different method to get a hypercall page things like that um, and also slight uh, different uh, memory handling which includes uh, page table upda updates you don't have a, a mm mmu update a hypercall anymore uh, in pvh um, yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, the entry point, uh, separate elf node is very easy uh, part. Uh, for the uh, some uh, boot code itself, uh, it's 
already implemented in uh, MinUS and the code is very similar, so it can be used uh, directly, mostly. Um, page table. Uh, page table setup need to be also, uh, added to, uh, and also MinUS uh, is useful here as a source. Um, and there is uh, some issue at the uh, boot time because uh, you need to set up uh, hypercall page and uh, console ring. Oh, okay, uh, you don't uh, really need uh, you need console ring only mostly for debugging, which is kind of useful thing. <laughs> um, but early in the boot process, uh, um, in Unicraft uh, uh, platform render, you don't yet uh, have uh, memory allocator. You cannot allocate page table slots yet, uh, page table entries. Uh, so the trick is to uh, leave a, some spaces in some sl uh, slots prepared for those few pages in initial memory uh, page tables. Uh, so there are, uh, in current version of the patches, there are, I think, three of them, and uh, one for uh, console ring, the other one for um, hypercall page, and I think third one for Zenstore, I think. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the hypercall page is just RAM you need uh, something to write into, so you need to know where it is to get them to write into it. The console and the store ring are prepared by the domain builder, so you have to read the HTML program to find out where they are and or, or read your own grant table. Or, or read your own grant table, which is even more complicated because you've got to map the grant table first to find out where it is. Yeah, but I need to include it uh, somewhere in my page tables, right? So <laughs> I need a slot in page tables for that. To be honest, a lot of that becomes easier if you do it in 32-bit mode and leave paging off. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So next thing is the, that start info structure. Uh, in PVH, it contains mostly some uh, magic number and command command line parameters and uh, list of modules, which <coughs> are not really useful for Unicraft. Uh, but other than that. Um, there's nothing more uh, there. Um, so we need to find uh, the two things. Uh, one is finding a way to obtain all this information. And yeah, the MinUS uh, have PVH support, so we can look the, how it's done, done there. Uh, but also uh, a lot of places, some places in the uh, Unicraft platform library use uh, those APIs. Uh, so uh, we need to either provide some um, some means to transla uh, to choose what uh, source of information to use. For example, uh, console frontend, to, uh, how to open, uh, what con uh, console link introduce, uh, or some transparency uh, try to build. Uh, the PV start info we populated with information got from uh, PVH in initiation. Um, so uh, uh, a few ways, and there is uh, also uh, MirageOS specific issue uh, because MirageOS have uh, own uh, front end drivers written in OCaml. For example, uh, ZenStore, Block, Network, things like that, and they also. The, uh, need to access some of those informations, and it, ideally, uh, it should be abstract enough to not to use the same uh, same build. Uh, we haven't managed to do that yet. Uh, right now, we use compile compile option of the uh, compile line de define simply uh, to choose uh, PV or PVH uh, build of Mirage OS. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, so, hypercall uh, page initialization. This is my understanding reading uh, mini, mini OS code. Uh, it 
maybe may not be very accurate, but uh, it works. Uh, Okay. Data info has pointed to the shared info that you need to match. Uh, okay. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Uh, but in PVH, uh, you don't have that anymore. Uh, there is um, some quite strange code that uh, tries to brute force uh, find to where uh, what uh, MSR need to be used to uh, get. Uh, memo, um, that was a specific way to try and be compatible with uh, Viridian and your other hypervisor specs for virtualized CPU ideally. Basically, it will, it will either be in the zero slot if you're straight on Zen, or it will be in the next slot along if you, you're you on Zen but also have Viridian turned on for Windows. So it's either the first or the second place you look at it. Okay, but yeah, there is a code that tries to find where Zen magic is. Um, and then um, I need some place in uh, my page tables to put that hyperfold page in. Um, and I want to do that very early, uh, so I use that uh, prepared slot in uh, initial page tables uh, before I try to get any kind of memory map or something. Um, okay, so page tables. Uh, that part was fun. <laughs> uh, so first, okay, uh, no need for MMU update. Cool, let's comment it out and see what happens. <laughs> uh, but the problem is uh, I need to build that uh, page tables and I need to guess or find out how, some way what memory areas actually I can use. Um, you have the yep. Uh, I found out that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but still, I need to be careful, for example, to not um, uh, to not reuse uh, my old code page, uh, pages <laughs> and uh, also uh, not overwrite some uh, my my code page, uh, this uh, hyper code page, and few more structures. So, and also um, some of this is taken again from MinUS, and MinUS on PVH is using uh, super pages. So uh, I've mirrored this uh, also to Unicraft. Um, it works. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good idea, but yeah, it works. You're using two Meg pages in general? Uh, and on this particular case, uh, case uh, um, there will need to be some changes in Miraflare's code for that because a uh, few, uh, few places uh, assume that pages are always 4K. Um, so from a performance point of view, uh, using two meg pages is better than using four k pages. And even if you're compiling, even if you're compiling something to be tiny, you can still align it on two meg pages, and it goes from a couple of hundred kilobytes to uh, several megabytes. Uh, but realistically, even at the moment, several megabytes is still tiny. Uh, yeah. And when you start using two meg super pages, all your memory accesses become faster, both in the host page tables and the guest page tables. So if, if you are free to just line on two meg boundaries, things get a lot more faster to execute. Okay, because uh, using uh, two meg pages in PV was a bad idea for security point of view. Uh, there's a reason we deleted that code yeah. in the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's that's also my concern here. But on PVH, in theory, it should be fine uh, from security point of view. I hope. Yeah, yeah, it is. Otherwise, we have real problems with Windows. Yeah. <laughs> um, there are also a few places uh, where 
uh, MFN and PFN differences uh, matter. We should go and rename those. If, yeah. If you have a list of them, I will go and fix them because I'm tired of people getting confused. <laughs> <laughs> All it involves is changing the changing a comment, changing a variable name. But yes, we should just do it and. Yeah, so the, uh, this was mostly about um, shared uh, pages like console ring, Zen store ring, and things like that, which uh, in PV was just some MFN, I think, reference. Um, yeah. uh, so there are surprising places that uh, compiled just fine, but if you try to run them, they will crash, uh, crash spectacularly. So yeah, uh, that was also fun to debug. <laughs> um, um, okay, so that was about uh, Unicraft, and with those changes in place, uh, I said I was able to build some Hello World uh, Unikernel, and it works. Uh, I haven't tried uh, any more. Uh, driver uh, drivers in uh, Unicraft that I needed for Uni uh, for MIRS. Uh, so in practice, I needed only console driver. Uh, so for example, I have no idea if Zen Store in Unicraft works on PVH. Um, but yeah, so the uh, MIRS uh, part. So there is a build system. Um, there's always some build system. Uh, in Mirror uh, build system uh, kind of assume that uh, it's it's uh, OCaml code. If you want to override that, that's fine. You can provide some uh, make uh, make file and uh, make targets to call. Um, but not. Uh, but not much more, uh, which means, for example, there is no way, uh, no easy way to pass uh, configuration uh, to uh, to Unicraft, uh, and also Unicraft uh, requires some Unicraft specific make file. Uh, when you uh, want to build something in Unicraft, but uh, uh, when you want to build uh, something with uh, Mirage, uh, you um, you end up with different uh, kind of make files. So we ended up with building um, me, uh, Unicraft as uh, uh, one component. Uh, uh, Unicraft in build, uh, building Unicraft in Mirage OS, not the other way around, uh, which uh, means we needed to provide Unicraft configuration somewhere. somewhere. Um, right now, uh, there is one commit that simply put that in Unicraft repository, which is a very ugly thing to do. Um, we need to fix that. Um, but And there is some more issues. Uh, to link things with uh, Unicraft, uh, we needed to convince uh, Mirage build system to use some specific uh, C flags. Um, and there is a method for that. You can add PC uh, file. So we also committed that to Unicraft repository. Um, um, yeah, so there are. Uh, two additional files that are very specific to Mirage build system, but committed to Unicraft repository. Uh, we need something better here. I have no idea yet what. Um, and there was another issue, uh, which I think I forgot put on the slides. Um, both uh, Unicraft and Mirage OS built uh, no libc. I think, uh, yeah, and this, uh, <laughs> and there are different. Uh, they use different versions, and uh, if you, yeah, 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 and if you try to link those things together, 
Um, no. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, there is a patch in Unicraft that uh, tries to not export to uh, to not export uh, most of these uh, nullifc symbols, uh, and I was told uh, there is some better uh, way to achieve that in newer Unicraft. We'll see. <laughs> um, yeah. So another thing uh, specific to Mirage OS uh, about some uh, front-end drivers. Uh, most of them are written in Ocam, uh, but you still need uh, access to uh, low-level interfaces like this uh, location of the uh, ZenStore page, uh, grant tables, and even channel and things like that. Uh, right now, uh, it's go uh, going directly to uh, Unic this Unicraft Zen platform library. We export more symbols from there, uh, but we need some abstraction for that. Um, and there was also, yeah, uh, we need abstraction for uh, uh, those methods. Um, Oh, there is my no lipsy thing. <laughs> um, yeah. So that was also fun. Uh, By the way, did you try um, with this no lipsy to feed your no, no lipsy from Mirage into Unicron? No, I haven't tried I that. Yet. It didn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I was okay. curious about that. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so what's the current stage of the things? Uh, there are some patches. Um, uh, I sent a link to a uh, git branch on uh, uh, the mailing list. Uh, this is not yet ready to review or if you want to still have some sanity points or something. <laughs> um, so there is a lot of uh, things uh, to improve. Um, um, Mirage OS part also uh, needs some better abstractions to access uh, uh, things expo uh, exposed from Unicraft, uh, things like grant tables, even channel, and specific interfaces. And also we need also some idea how to plug this uh, into build system. Um, maybe, I, I'm not really sure what is the better idea, building Mirage OS as, uh, as part of, as one application on top of Unicraft, or building Unicraft as one package inside Mirage OS. I'm not even sure what is a better idea. Uh, <laughs> you, you don't want to use OPAM if you can possibly avoid it. Uh, I reluctantly agree. Uh, <laughs> for the context of this conversation. <laughs> Yeah, so we need some solution for the build system. And also this no lipsy conflict. Um, yeah, I have no idea how to fix that in practice, I, especially if that's totally different thing. But I think it's fixable. Yeah, we yeah, we can isolate symbols and hope they will no, not. No, you can do some particularly nasty stuff with set if you want to. No, I don't. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, and there is also CubeSoS specific part, uh, which is kind of independent of uh, PVH or PV, uh, we, because yeah, we want to put uh, uni, uni kernels. Uh, do, we don't uh, want to install them as by some binary in DOM0 uh, that is uh, parsed by uh, DOM0 tool stack. Yeah? Yes, uh, yes, I know. Uh, then you need to use common entry formats uh, with HVM or Crystal. Mm. So I don't know if Unicraft has HVM support. Nope. No. Nope. Okay, so the KVM for you then. Yeah, KVM, yes. Normal entry then, not via Elf Node, but the normal entry uh, passes in real mode. Okay, yeah, I, I was looking at uh, pvgrab2 and this PV, uh, pvh support, but it can, yeah, the loading. So it's not in mini OS, but um, in the Linux, the Linux kernel can be booted this way in pvh mode, so it must be possible to do it in. Yeah, and actually we do that in cubes already, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I haven't looked at the how Linux does that, but yeah, maybe a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. My my current plan was the, to add support uh, this uh, for this additional entry point to grab. Uh, I don't know. Yes, but this uh, grab PVH uh, can boot on PVH, but cannot load uh, PVH elf file we currently produce in. Um, Yes, yes, uh, yes, I know. Uh, yes, but uh, to load. What, what it won't do is invoke the um, PVH entry points in the ELF file it looks at. It doesn't uh, use the PVH entry, but just the normal. Can, can I suggest that this discussion should be taken offline? Yeah. No. The, <laughs> the, the bug here is that they want to be able to do that and it currently doesn't work. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so that's what's uh, missing part. But other than that, uh, with all those hacky pack, uh, patches applied, uh, if I put the, this PVH uh, mirror OS by uh, Unikernel, some Hello World Unikernel, it kind of boots. Uh, it's able to print something from from OCaml code. Um, not really anything more, but it's something. <laughs> yeah. So, questions? More questions? <laughs> you said that you built uh, page tables for PVH. And that seems to be something that's completely different from what uh, Unicraft usually does. But the page tables that you build for KVM should work for PVH. I mean, there's no difference there. You don't need a specific uh, set of code to build page tables for PVH. <laughs> the, the problem is that Unicraft's idea of Platform Zen is, is exclusively PV. Um, I think I did suggest this ages ago um, and uh, probably got bogged down in, in speculative work thereafter. I think it might be useful to split um, Platform Zen into Platform Zen PV and Platform Zen PVH because what you need to do in Unicraft for those two things is very, very different. I mean, um, you would even have PVH together with KDM because the yeah. difference in codes are going to be minimal. I mean, the oh. code that you need to <laughs> 90 the same that you need to have right, right. So what I can tell 
to that part is that um, originally we thought, you know, you have the platform and everything what's in there is quite specific to that platform. So originally the idea was we have a Zen PV platform library, a Zen PVH platform library, and a different one which is KVM. But in the meantime, we figured that there are so many details, especially between PVH and the KVM guys also handling CPU registers and stuff, um, that there's much more commonplace to be shared. And what we have on, you know, on our internal roadmap is kind of a restructuring of of the code so that, for instance, the page table setup, and I think if I agree um, that that can be shared with between KVM and, and the PVH guest. Although PV is then a different thing, but you know, it's, it's then a different implementation. Yeah, but right. PV is completely different from PV. Right. I mean, the name makes it sound like it's very similar. Yeah, but it's not, it's not. So, so I, I also treat it, uh, so I would like to see this as a, you know, PV and PVH as complete separate different platform implementations. Recent KVM has gathered uh, has got the alternative to boot in PVH mode, so you can use the PVH entry point as well, because they took advantage uh, of the feature that now in the start info there's all, uh, already a memory map included. So like PVH and KVM PVH, then it's more or less the same. Yeah, they added that for just having a faster boot cycle. Somebody else wanted to grab the mic. I have very one quick point. Your, your use of this .pc file name, is that baked into anything yet? Hopefully not, because uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but there's a, a, an ancient um, source code management program called Quilt that uses a directory called .pc and... Uh, no, no, that, there was some name between, before this .pc. Okay. That was just, just file extension. Okay. This is a weirdness of how we deal with C flags in uh, OPAM, which changes in a new build system for OPAM anyway. So it's so irrelevant it's, on a number of levels. Yeah, so this is basically pack, uh, this pkg config file. Okay, yeah. fine. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. Any more questions? No? Thank you very much.